Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, episode number 134, for Monday, February the 23rd, 2009. Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, the video blog where I review a movie at least once a week, and maybe if you're lucky, I'll do it more. Um, like today, but I usually typically review Monday's movies on a Friday or Saturday, so make sure to check back for them. I have kind of uh, cool news, actually, some pretty epic news about nitpicket.com. Uh, I've decided to add a new staff writer, a new contributing editor of nitpicket.com, Aaron Fenn. Um, you might know Aaron Fenn. If you don't know, uh, he does the Daily Review here on YouTube. He does another fantastic daily uh, movie blog. I've subscribed to him. He's one of the few people I subscribe to on YouTube. So uh, check out on my homepage, uh, on the YouTube homepage from me, uh, his reviews, because he's awesome, he's a great guy, and I'm very excited to have Aaron. So Aaron, if you're watching this, welcome to, uh, to Nitpick, and I'm very excited to be doing this with you. Come be on the podcast. Um, so, and maybe not quite as awesome news, uh, the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the new film, Fired Up. Uh, this film is directed by Will Gluck, who, um, this is his directorial debut, he's, he's more of a writer. Um, he wrote one episode of Andy Richter, Controls of the Universe, which was a show I really liked, um, wasn't really familiar with anything else he had done. Um, this film stars Nicholas D'Agosto, Eric Christian, uh, Eric Christian Olsen, Sarah Romer, David Walton, and Margot Harshman. And you, uh, I remember Margot Harshman anyways. I'm hopefully, hopefully other people know who I'm talking about. Um, Margot Harshman was Tawny on Even Stevens. And um, I'm drawing hearts around her name right now because I fucking, I had the biggest crush on Tawny on Even Stevens. And she's back in this movie. And uh, I love her just as much as I did. I, I'm telling you right now, she's a beauty. Um, this is the movie about two football players who uh, decide they're not going to go to football camp because it sucks because there's no ladies. They're women. They're womenizers. They decide to join the, the cheerleading squad because then they can go to cheer camp and hit on all these chicks all the time and totally score with all of them. Um, but get this. One of them falls for the head cheerleader and... Uh, Things do not go according to plan. Um, this this is a pretty terrible movie a across the board. I think this is a pretty um, just bad bad movie. It's poorly made. It's poorly written. Um, going in, I think you can tell you know every single beat that is going to happen in this film. You can tell where it's going. Um, there is not a second of this film where you don't know what the person is going to do next. Um, so that really sucks about this. Um, a lot of the jokes in this movie really fall flat, and I feel like every time this movie was trying to be funny, it, it was either weird or unfunny. Um, and I feel like the funniest moments of this film weren't necessarily either in the script or from the director, or um, but I'll get into that. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of gay jokes in this movie, and they're not very clever or funny. It's just, ha-ha, we're cheerleaders, that guy's gay because he's a cheerleader. And it, it really falls flat a lot. Um, I, I really didn't like that. Um, there's a scene where these two cheerleaders, I guess, become lesbians throughout the course of this film, and it's gratuitous to have them, like, pinching each other's asses and, like, feeling each other up in scenes, which felt kind of slimy and kind of smarmy, like, we're gonna throw this in for the teenage boys, and it, it's... It's, it's just weird. I'm like, why are these two characters a lesbian? And then there's these scenes where the two guys are with two different girls doing push-ups and they kiss in the center. But then all of a sudden, it's just the two girls and they French kiss. And it literally has nothing to do with anything. And I, I it was so weird and baffling to me. Um, the script isn't worth mentioning. It's terrible. The directing really isn't that great. Uh, there are a few good things about this film. Um, I, I did kind of enjoy it. I think it's a terrible movie, but I, I did laugh. Um, I think Nicholas D'Agosto and Eric Christian Olsen, who play the two leads in this film, are very good together. I think they have good chemistry, great comedic timing. If there are laughs to be had in this film, it's because of their performances and their delivery. Also, David Walton, who plays uh, Dr. Rick, he's the douchebaggy ex-boyfriend, which is a character I always love in just about any film you uh, you put this these kind of pompous asshole characters. Uh, he was fucking awesome. And every time his car pulled in to the parking lot at the camp, it was playing fucking funny music. It was like Mambo Number no. 5 and like Breakfast at Tiffany's and all these songs that I really haven't heard in a while. Uh, bad songs. I like Breakfast at Tiffany's, but Mambo Number no. 5 is like the shittiest song ever written pretty much. Uh, 
That guy was fucking funny, though, and I, I really liked all the scenes with him. I liked, uh, his girlfriend's name is Carly, and he keeps getting her nicknames, like Carly Davidson and stuff like that. And I don't know why, but I always find shit like that funny. I always give people nicknames. I think in real life I am the, uh, the douchebaggy ex-boyfriend, uh, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, this movie's pretty terrible, um, even though I do have a lot of affection for terrible teen movies like Sidney White and stick it, and I ha I've watched a lot of these films on DVD over and over again. I can't recommend this film. I give Fired Up a 2 out of 5. If you guys like this review, make sure and give me some star ratings. Also, make sure to subscribe. Head over to nitpicket.com. That's N-I-T-P-I-C-K-E-T.com uh, for this. We're also going to talk about this movie on the podcast this week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.